Hi everyone, Aman from this side and I welcome you all to Code with Scalar. In this video, we are going to create image gallery. You can see the effect here. We can even open the image, right? And we can close it. We can even scroll down while opening a, opening the image, okay? And uh, uh, let me show you, it's responsive as well. iPhone SE, it does look like this. Surface Pro and uh, we can see it on the uh, nearest hub max right it's responsive cool so let's just start with the project let's start with creating index.html and have another file for styling purpose style.sys CSS split it to right okay boilerplate change the title to gallery link our CSS done uh, first of all I am having a container inside which all of the images will lie okay so image container let's style it first Okay, uh, I'm giving it uh, width 90VH or sorry VW and height 90VH and let's give it some background color so that we can see. Okay, uh, let's go live. Cool, we have uh, okay. It's not in the center, so let's go to its parent, which is body. And for even before that, uh, let's come here and give padding zero, margin zero as well. Box uh, sizing, border box, uh, and at last font family, sans serif. Cool. Now come to body and align our display container. Oh, image container, display flex, uh, align atom, center, uh, justify content, center as well. Uh, give it height 100vh and uh, width 100pw. So it's in the center. We can simply come here and say uh, 90% of its parent. It's going to be 90vh and 90vw and 90vh. So no difference here. So yeah, our container looks good. Let's remove the background color. Now let's have uh, images. I'm having like nine images, or we can have eight, even eight. It does look okay. So instead of this, let's just have image, and we can copy the URL from unsplash. We can take uh, images. Copy image address. Okay, uh, we have around 15 16 images, so let's just style the images image container image. Let's have a look at the gallery ones. So you can see uh, we have images, right? So let's just style this, uh, give it some height and width 30 30 RAM. Okay, I think we should reduce the height and width 20 rem. Okay, it does looks good. Cool. We can even give it some margin of 2 rem. Okay. Now uh, let's just give it display flex image container so that it will be responsive now all the images are in one row align it to the center then center 
and even though uh, still it's in the one row so for that what we can do for changing uh, this wrap it flex wrap cool now it's aligned perfectly you can notice here we have some border radius we, so let come to our image and give it some border radius let's have one wrap how it looks this looks good I've uh, one ram is given now what we can do we can add the hover effect similar to this uh, if you notice there is a two effect okay one is it gets larger and another one is uh, it gets rotate okay so let's just uh, come here dot image container image when there is hover in it what we simply want uh, we want uh, it to transform scale first of all scale it to 1.1 let's see so it's scaling right now another transform is rotate let's have a 5 degree how it looks it's uh, the effect is there i think we should reduce the degree to okay or uh, it, it does looks good right but the one problem here is it's happening at the fast pace so we can surely come here and say to just take half second for the transition right now the transition is smooth cool i think just add one more degree yeah the transition is there it does looks good so this part has been taken care now let's uh, implement the full image part so for that come here uh, dot uh, view image or we can even give it class full image view image uh, and uh, have image tag here i'm fixing the source as of now you can see uh, our styling has been interrupted with this image right so what we one thing we can do we can remove it from nat its natural document flow right so for that we can simply not here we can simply give it position absolute so it will simply uh, remove this image from the natural flow of document right now uh, if you see uh, my image is not on the screen as i am scrolling but uh, it's not the case with this right so for that uh, we can uh, instead of applying absolute we can do it like uh, fixed so it will be fixed now even though i am scrolling uh, image is fixed okay cool So let's just give it some Z index so that uh, it appear on the higher side of the Z, Z axis, right? You can see the difference. While I'm hovering on it, it's still uh, at the bottom of this bigger image, right? If I remove the Z index, you can see the difference, right? Z index is given let's just fix its height and width normally it's 20 ram let's just give it 40 ram height and width okay no rather than giving to this height and width we'll directly give it to the image and uh, width 40 ram to our uh, view image container give it 100% 100% height and 100% width okay so image is not in the center so for that we have display flex or align item center and justify content to the center as well so image is in that has center and we can give it a background color as we have given here right so let's just add a background 
to the container background rgb hai aur zero green zero blue zero so it's a dark let's just have a less darker okay now you can see the images behind this image right okay now uh, it does looks good we can just uh, see if it's similar here uh, there is some uh, there is a cross icon or cross button and uh, a border radius so let's just add border radius as well here border radius uh, let's have of one ram so if we can increase one okay two rams looks good and let's have a r icon span x it's not visible uh, let me just have white color so that we can see where it is color white so here it is as you can see let me increase its font size as well font size 4m let's take it to the bottom not not the bottom top right so position absolute from top to the and from the right let's see to and from the right let's have 8 ram okay yeah uh, it does looks good and uh, we can make it make the cursor pointer okay cool uh, it does looks similar uh, background is quite darker here we can make it 0.9 and it will be similar cool now we just have to add the functionality let me just comment this or uh, if we don't want it to be visible we can just simply cover. make the display none okay it's uh, not there now uh, actually it's there but it's not visible to us okay so we just need to add functionality while clicking on any of the image so let's just add the script let me just add uh, let me just uh, select all the images okay images document dot query selector all image container i hope spelling is correct image container yeah image i've selected all the image let's loop through all image image of images add event listener when someone clicks let's uh, event uh, okay so what i want i simply want to to make first thing i mo i want is to make display flex right of view image of this uh, container right this container uh, view image or div i want it display to be flex again so let's just select it view image document uh, dot query selector view image view image dot style dot display equal flex let's see now it's working flex is working i know uh, if i click on the on first image second image will be open no issue will be adding code for that so the source is fixed right source is fixed so before uh, implementing the changing source part or source source part of image first let's implement the close button functionality okay so for that uh, let me just select this as well for uh, document dot query selector dot view image span um, close button dot add event listener click 
function simply uh, again we want to make style we just simply want to make display to none again okay so let's see opening and closing is uh, working fine now just the remaining part is open the image which has been clicked right rather than uh, opening the second image again and again so for that we simply need to set the source of image view image sorry view image uh, dot style view image dot src equal we need to uh, see uh, first uh, let's console the event i think uh, we can go to the targeted node e is the event and we can go to targeted node yeah e is the event and we have target so image is the targeted node then we can access src view image dot src equal uh, e dot target dot src now let's see still not working okay uh, view image is the container and uh, view image is the container that is div and we want to change src of image tag so for that we need to select image let's uh, full image document uh, dot query selector view image full image now let's see cool uh, it's working fine now so the problem was uh, i was changing uh, the uh, src attribute of view image uh, but uh, it's a div not the image tag so i need to select i need to select image tag that is full image that is image tag inside view image div now and uh, what i what i simply did i simply loop through all the images and uh, I did event listener to all. First thing I did, I changed display to flex of div, view image div. And then I simply made full image SRC to the SRC of targeted image, basically, which was clicked, right? So, yeah, uh, the project is complete. Do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt.